What famous person has done something incredibly heinous, but has often been overlooked? Coco Chanel was a big supporter of the Nazi party. Boy George. Man handcuffed an escort to a wall and beat them with a metal chain. Carl Malone. Ex-NBA player. Impregnated a 13-year-old girl while he was 20 in college. Did not have a relationship with the kid. Famed musician. John Phillips of the 60s folk rock group. Mamas and Papas. Supposedly had a 10-year incestuous relationship with his actress daughter. Mackenzie Phillips. Most Americans probably won't know the name Jimmy Savile. But what he got away with for decades is absolutely awful. Countless sexual assaults against people, mostly children. All the way up to the elderly. Worse than that his behavior was covered up by elements within the BBC as he was employed by them. He's dead now but he got away with it his whole life. Likely won thousands of victims. Tyga was banging a 16-year Jenner spawn and didn't care who knew about it. John Stamos admitted in Jane magazine to tricking a girl into having sex with his friend. He bragged that he started making out with this girl in a dark room, got up to brush his teeth, and then let his friend go in and have sex with her. No one mentions it. Some dirt bags just get a pass I guess. Joe Kennedy. Father of the Kennedy family. Had Rosemary Kennedy. John F. Kennedy's sister. Lobotomized. Link. All that's interesting. Com, Rosemary Kennedy lobotomy. Edit. Misspelled lobotomized edit too. Clarified it was Joe Kennedy's choice. I'd like to take a moment to point out that all Pee Wee Herman did was masturbate in a porn theater. So. Fuck your smug righteousness. Sarasota. Florida. Boy George. He captured and tortured someone. Chained him in his room. I believe he only served a short sentence. Allison Mack. Of Smallville fame was a member of the Nexium cult and was personally responsible for human trafficking, sexual assault, branding, and literally making other women sexual slaves of the guru. She's currently under house arrest awaiting sentencing. Klaus Kinski was a violent lunatic who also raped his own daughter. The number of professional athletes who have raped, abused people and animals committed heinous crimes with impunity is too long to list. Steven Siegel is a serial rapist and a fraud. I recommend the Behind the Bastards. Podcast episode about him. Ian Watkins. Lead singer of Lost Prophets. Currently serving lots and lots of time at Her Majesty's pleasure. For assorted child sex offenses including trying to arrange something so despicable that I can't type the words. I used to love their music. Now I just feel sick when I think about it. Ted Kennedy. Brother to John F. Kennedy. Drove his car off a bridge and left a woman in it to die. Went home got some sleep and called police in the morning. No charges. Served in the US Senate until he died. Jared Leto has a fringe group of young women follow him around and refer to him as a leader. His hair is long and flowing. Wears some long white smocks. Something. Is brewing with that. I don't know how overlooked this is. But Kevin Spacey and the fact that four witnesses have died who were supposed to testify against him in his sexual assault case. That's just shady. Steve Jobs denied his own daughter for years. Jimmy Seville. He got away with raping kids his whole life and everything only came out once he died. Got a nob as well whilst he was alive. All whilst abusing kids. Steven Tyler got custody of his 14-year-old girlfriend so she could go on tour with Aerosmith and be together. Her parents consented. People are still playing Chris Brown on mainstream radio like he didn't try to kill Rihanna. I really don't understand how Andy Dick hasn't been cancelled me too. He has been waving his dick where it doesn't belong and touching people inappropriately for 30 years. This isn't even a secret. I guess people just don't think about Andy Dick. Marcos Alonso from Chelsea killed a 19-year-old while drunk driving and got off with a 61. Oh 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 fine. His salary per week is 110. Oh oh oh. Just everyone that's with the Church of Scientology. An organization known for their shitty and psychotic practices. From Tom Cruise to John Travolta. They're all ignored because they're a list actors even though they're involved in a goddamn cult. Where's Shelley? David. Deleted. Alex Trebek shaved off his mustache with no regard for anyone's feelings about it. Edit. Typo. Salman Khan. The Indian actor. Not the Khan Academy gentleman. K. 
killed one person and injured four other homeless people sleeping on the streets after his car crashed into them. He has also been accused for poaching black bucks, chinkara etc. In addition to this, he has also harassed a well-known actress after they broke up. Every time a lower court convicts him, he appeals to a higher court granting him a bail. Fuck him. Fuck that bastard. Edit. To avoid misunderstanding with a gentleman of the same name. Here in Czechia we have folk singer who was acting during communist regime that he was against it. In reality he was collaborating with secret police and reporting dissidents. Yet to this day most of people would call you. An envious one. If you bring it up again while he is enjoying popularity in Czechia and Poland. Receiving a prize by Putin. And creating racist songs against refugees. I hate you. Jaromir Nohavica. Most rock stars from the 70s lol. Emma Roberts beat the shit out of Evan Peters. Elvis Presley met and pursued. His future wife, Priscilla when she was 14 and he was 24. Onision. For grooming kids and abusing multiple people of all ages. He's recently been verified by Twitch. I'm so disgusted and furious. No one should ever forget what he did. Edit. If anyone wants to do something about getting this guy off Twitch. Mass report him. It's the best way I know of to get rid of this guy without stepping on investigators' toes on this one. Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin's guitarist, had a 14-year-old girlfriend and he knew exactly what he was doing. Marcus Alonso, left back for Chelsea FC, was drink driving and got his passenger killed. Should have gone to prison. Paid 61. Oh 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 and is often brushed under the rug. Melissa Benoist's first husband almost blinded her. So she's been doing the Supergirl TV show for a while now but a few years back news came out that she had hurt her eye. She said she had tripped or something had hurt herself at home. Nope. Her first husband threw his phone at her in a fit of range. Hit her in the eye. And she almost lost her sight. Glad she left that psycho. Remember the Panama Papers? Yeah. They are still doing it. Literally anything Chris Brown has ever done fits here. You always hear about Pancho Villa, but hardly ever about his right-hand man, Rodolfo Fierro. Fierro loved to kill. He would kill at the first chance and would do so in a casual manner. One time he and another one of his henchmen were arguing as to which direction a man falls when he is shot and killed. They argued, Fierro that the man would fall face first, the henchman that he would fall backward, until all of a sudden Fierro took out his gun and fatally shot a passerby in broad daylight. The man fell face first and Fierro won that argument. Edit. Spelling error. Vince Neil killed the drummer from Hanoi Rocks in a drunk driving crash and got off with zero prison time. Remember that time in 2015 an Olympic gold medalist kill someone with their car? It's my estimation that every man ever got a statue made of him was one kind of a son of a bitch or another. Malcolm Reynolds.